Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about how we can send bulk emails through Outlook using Excel VBA. Now, here I have a lot of data. The to address, the cc address, the bcc address, the subject, the message, the attachment and I want the status of the email. So, here we can include the cc address of the recipients the bcc address and we can also add attachments to this let us look at how we can make this code now for that go to developer tab and click on visual basics also you can use alt plus f11 for this alt plus f11 and this is the visual basics for applications now right click on this white area which is called as project explorer and go to insert and click on module this is the visual basics editor window here you can start writing your code let us start by writing subroutine sub and let us give a name for the subroutine let's write send bulk email now click enter and inside this piece we'll write our code. Let us start by declaring our worksheet. dim w s as worksheet w is s is just a random keyword I have given. Click enter and let us declare the worksheet. Set ws we are assigning the value to ws here is equal to this workbook dot sheets inside bracket you can write the name of the sheet as a string let us go back to our excel worksheet and look at the name of this worksheet it is name so you can go here and write name as a string so inside double quotes you can write name click enter now let's also declare i as an integer dim i as integer moving forward you'll understand why we declared the i click enter now let us declare the objects for the outlook application for that dim o a as object enter then msg as object now let us assign the values for that set oa is equal to create object inside parenthesis as string let us write outlook dot application let's close the quotes and let's close the parenthesis click enter now let us declare the last row in the worksheet then last row as integer last row is equal to application dot count a of ws dot range a to a so what this step ideally does is that so it will count the number of data in the column a to a so there are around 25 call uh, rows here which are used so the last row here is 25 so we can use this that value for our for loop that is from 1 to 25 we will be using inside the for loop let's go back to the visual basic editor now Let's also close the parenthesis for the count a function here and click enter. Now, the mistake here was that I didn't start the double quote here. 
yeah so it is clear now click enter now let's start the for loop for i is equal to 2 to last row now why did we use 2 to last row because in the data the first row is heading so we will start from 2 to wherever the last row is let's go back to visual basic editor window click enter now set msg is equal to oa dot create item inside bracket let's put zero and click enter msg dot two is equal to ws dot range a and i bracket clause dot value here we have assigned the two value that is two address the email two address as ws worksheet arrange the column a and i value that is inside column a whichever value is the i for that instance that is i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 and so on let's go back to editor window and let's write the same code for cc and bcc as well click enter and copy paste that thing now message dot cc is equal to ws dot range now the column is b here and i dot value again msg dot bcc is equal to ws dot range the column is c here and i dot value now how did i get the a b c column names here because 2 was in a cc was in b bcc was in c and so on let's write the same for subject and message and attachment now message dot subject is equal to range d let's write for the body of the message msg dot body is equal to range e and i now we have attachments as well here now but in the data we can see that only some of these rows has attachment so what if it doesn't have attachment so let us put an if condition for that if ws dot range f f is the column for attachments and i dot value is not equal to null then msg dot attachments dot add dot ws dot range inside bracket we can put f and i class bracket and value that is the value of this range now click enter you can end the if clause here end if and now let us send the message that is msg dot send that is sent click enter now we need a status to be updated in the excel sheet that is if the message has been if the mail has been sent we need something to be written here so let's write ws dot range g and i dot value is equal to sent now click enter and let us close the for loop by writing next i now 
We can also put some message box functions here so that it will alert the user that the messages or the mails have been sent. If you don't want that, you can totally avoid this step. So if you want to learn more about the message box steps, please click on the info link that's being popped up on the top of this video. Now let us write msg box and successfully sent and close the double quotes and that's it. This is the code for sending all the mails. Now, when you run this program, all the data that is being stored in this sheet will be sent out as mail to the corresponding mail IDs, CC mail IDs and BCC mail IDs with the custom subject and message and attachments. And the status will be updated as sent. Now, since there are so many test mail IDs here, I don't want to try this by sending it out. So let me change this dot send as msg dot display. Now what would happen is that if you have msg dot display instead of msg dot send, while you run this program, the outlook won't send out the mails. It will just display the mail as a draft. So you can make some changes there and send it out. Now, if you are very new to coding, I would say that you should try displaying it first and then be confident with your own work and then start out sending. Now, let me run this code. As you can see, all the message drafts are being created. Now, this is a very optional step. If you don't want these all data to populate like this, you can use msg.send instead of msg.display. As you can see, the two address is populated, cc address is populated, bcc is populated, subject is populated, message body is populated, and the custom attachment is also populated. Now, you can send from here, or you can close this or edit this and send each of these. Now, instead of this heavy procedure, you can also use dot send, that is dot send method. I hope, I hope this video was informative and you guys learned how to send bulk emails using Excel VBA through Outlook.